Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Alicia Brache here at Cosmic Gateway. This is a March energy update for 2024. I am feeling very excited to be back and to present this energy update. A couple of announcements first. I will be hosting the very first Soul Journey, which will be facilitated on Monday the 11th of March at 7pm. Um, All the details will be in the description box below. Later in the month, I will be facilitating the next step in Elevate Training, Elevation Training, Part 3. So more details of that will come. For this energy update, I wanted to talk about some, share some insights that have come to me that I think have, have been really insightful for my own process and I think will be really helpful to shed light, perhaps for, for those of you who may be watching for your friends, for your, your family, your loved ones, or just some insightful information. I wanted to talk about, uh, well, a couple of two main topics that are very, very close to my heart. One is um, the interconnectedness of the Secret Space Program and the use of counterparts, or I like to talk about divine soul connections, talking about the, the twinning programs that have been used in these programs and also I want to talk about uh, another topic that's very very dear to my heart which is about the new earth children and how that interlinks and interplays but first off let's talk about the, the secret space program I truly believe and this is my own personal opinion <laughs> that the secret space program is intergenerational it has impacted the lives of every sentient being on this planet to some degree or another it is a form of control and enslavement on this planet. And I think that the, the most important thing that we can do is break through and break free of that programming so that we can become our true self, our, for lack of a better word, to become everything that we were destined to become when we came, when we chose to come incarnate here. And that takes a lot of work to be able to work <laughs> through breaking down the traumas that impact us when we're talking intergenerationally, when we're talking about interference and impacts that come in from other species, other uh, races. And when we're talking about just the matrix in general and how this whole very intricately woven system has propagated um, suffering, <laughs> um, poverty, um, misery and sadness and it basically feeds off the loose of our um our own suffering and my greatest hope for humanity is that we can all do our part to break free to become masters of our own destiny to become empowered and to become in control of our own lives to be able to be inspired to work with our creative gifts and abilities and to create a better world. What sets up these, what I have understood, and you've probably seen in some of the other videos that I've done around Divine Soul Counterparts, is that they, there's, um, and I'll be talking more about this in upcoming interviews, but this is just to give a brief overview around what I understand about the twinning programs. This was set up um, back in, during the Second World War. Nazis were facilitating um, experiments on twins, biological twins. Twins tend to have this ability where they have a shared sense of uh, telepathy or they, they have this um, way of being able to feel and sense each other, you know, through quantum entanglement, even through vast large distances I won't go into the details and facts that I don't understand but what I can share with you and what I know and understand about the secret space program is they look for twins on a soul level they look for frequency matches or specific uh, individuals who share a, a common frequency an identical match even and this is very relative to people's own individual experiences. 
But through trauma-based mind control, what they tend to do is try to destroy the most pure expression, which is love and connection and being able to have um, honest, beautiful friends, romantic partners, family. So these programs are, in essence, designed to destroy what is pure, what is wholesome, what is Wow, there's so many words and labels, right? Whatever it means to you. It really is a virus that is, it's, I, I feel that it's energetic. There's a physical component. There's primarily the energetic. This impacts families and lineages. It's interwoven into our DNA. Our DNA as we come in is refined and pure. We have vast soul journeys of out in the cosmos, <laughs> uh, learning, knowledge, having incredible abilities, whether that be through sound, vibration, healing, <laughs> um, modalities, understanding our past lives. That is all intricately woven within our DNA. And that is what is being restored within us as we go through this internal process. The key component to the twinning and why it is, seeks to destroy personal relationships is because there is so much strength and power in connection, true connection connection of the heart, connection of the mind. Ultimately, it starts within ourselves. So when we can bring our own process of being able to merge the intelligence of our mind and bring it into a heart-centered space, that is the superpower that we hold within us as human beings, within our DNA, within our cellular blueprint and structure. There's always, I believe that there are, based on what I call soul groups or monadic structures, there's many beings or yeah, beings that are now incarnate as humans that have this um, shared frequency that help and support one another. When we start to reconnect and find these people, this is powerful. This is this goes beyond the control systems and structures it kind of breaks the system because <laughs> that's what we signed up to do. We signed up, come here to break the system, to break the matrix so that we can create a whole new world. The other aspect is around the New Earth children. Many uh, souls who have chosen to come here is to bring a new wave, new wave of children who are here to support humanity in this transition. A lot of this has been manipulated and hijacked through various programs. Um, in particular, there's a lot of grey interference, but that's not just limited to one race or one, you know, one group of beings, there's a lot of meddling that occurs in the tinkering and the changing of the DNA. When we can work on our own practice and come back into going through our own metamorphosis and alchemization, we can actually support the unraveling of what was inorganic, not inorganic, but yeah, unnatural, to bring it back into alignment.
the new earth children are really the uh, the light, the hope, and the joy, and the inspiration, the love for humanity. I feel very privileged to have not only walk this journey to understand it, but to support many women. This work is very dear to my heart because I truly believe that the children that are coming through are um, unlike anything we could ever perceive of <laughs> at this point. And I'll be talking more about that in, in upcoming videos. But coming back to the importance of understanding that we are actually free and liberated. It's a choice. If we choose to be able to take control of our own destiny, if we choose to follow our heart and not the programming that has been brainwashed or conditioned into us, taking good care of our body, cleansing, detoxing, purification. But the energetics, I feel, is the most important thing. When we can set the straight energetics, when we can set our own energetic boundaries and know that we are following our own inner guidance and consciousness rather than a program or interference from other peoples or other beings. When we're in that pure state of alignment, that is where we can feel the true connection to our heart and our heart's calling, our soul's purpose, our soul's mission. I'm just going through my notes, looking at to make sure I've covered everything so far. I mean, there's so much on this topic that I could share, honestly. There's so much information, and I will. Um, probably the biggest one that I found is when we're looking at the, the detoxification, the energetic cleanup, and taking good care of our body, rest ultimately allows us to process and integrate and, and come into awareness of um, information that our soul wants to bring to us, the cleaning up um, things like parasites and fungus that can interfere with our mind, <laughs> that can interfere with our, our body. But ultimately when we are working with the highest degree of our own consciousness, all that can become somewhat available. We are the co-creators of our destiny. We are the co-creators of our reality. And we are the masters of that. So never forget that. Trust what your heart, where your heart is guiding you. Mm. That will never lead you astray. I want to thank everyone for following through. I will be connecting with everyone uh, as soon as I can. I've just got back to work now, so going through and responding and reconnecting is uh, of a priority to me. All the details will be in the description box below, and if you would like to learn more about um, becoming more so, um, more aligned within your energetic. I don't use the word sovereignty, but personal power. How to have um, a, a, a guidebook, if you will, or tools to help support you through your own um, self-mastery, energetic self-mastery. If you would like to know more about how to balance your own uh, divine counterpart connection I'll put the details of Elevate 2 uh, Elevation Training and Elevate 2 in the description box so 
So I just want to thank everyone so much for uh, being here, <laughs> being on this journey. I look forward to reconnecting for those who wish to join me with uh, returning home, soul journey. Now, allow this time of March to be magical for you. I'm uh, extending my heartfelt um, love and inspiration that you can all come home to yourself, come back and reconnect into your heart centre. Reclaim what is rightfully yours within your own process. Stay in truth, speak your truth, lead and walk in love, and may March bring you magical, magical blessings. Until next time, looking forward to connecting with you. Mwah. Much love, Alicia. Bye.